Okay. Would you rather be stuck in Chicago traffic after the Cubs win the World Series or ride the red line train during Lollapalooza? Both sound terrible. <laughs> so sweaty, so much, uh, so much like drunk, sloppy sex um, out in the street. <laughs> Um, true story. I've seen people fuck on the red line. Um, oh, no. Chicago traffic. Hmm. I think I think the World Series situation sounds the mood a would be better, more better because Lollapalooza. It's like a bunch of zombies from the suburbs, like crawling home on you know in a K hole. They're like, oh, <laughs> did you see Tame Impala? Tame Impala was great. <laughs> Whereas like the, there's a celebratory nature to the Cubs winning, and I. I uh, did grow up on the north side for most of my childhood, so I, I I would definitely probably say being stuck in Chicago traffic. It's just like more of a parade than anything. Lala's like a zombocalypse, so yeah. No wrong answer. Great yeah, answer. That's, that's correct. Correct. All right. Here's the next one. Would you rather? Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. Listen to. Okay. Listen to You'll Be Back on repeat for 24 hours or listen to Dear Theodosa on repeat for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. And one of them I have to hear Lynn sing. And then the other one, um, you know what? No, I'm going to go with Dear Theodosia just because I, I think the words are beautiful. And I think mm. the melody is beautiful, whereas You'll Be Back is kind of, it's like that annoying, like, da 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 in Spamilton, um, our our version of that that we had was um, "Gay is back" or something like that, or, or "Queer is back" or something like that, or "You'll be gay." Um, <laughs> and there was, the whole what joke was that it was, a, yeah, it was one, the whole joke was a gay thing. <laughs> and then for the chorus, we did like "Gay, gay, 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 gay," which was super fun to get the audience to sing along with um, King George. But yeah, no, I'm going with Dear Theodosia for sure. Love it. Excellent. And uh, uh, now I'm not remembering his name. The gentleman that played uh, Burr. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Leslie Odom Jr. Yes. Oh, can't even. So good. Obsessed. Stunning voice. <sighs> okay. Next one, Josh. You got it? Would you rather compete with your buddy Jack Black on Double Dare or do you think you and Mr. Black would be more successful in Legends of the Hidden Temple? <laughs> God, wait. Okay, so are we competing competing as a team or against each other? I think you're a you're a team. You're, you're a team. team. I think I think double dare. I double dare slide. all the way. We're gonna I take the physical slide. challenge. Yeah, we're not answering. We're just taking the physical challenge all day, looking for the yeah. flags in the giant nostril. Love. <laughs> oh, I don't have it here. Shout out okay. Robin and Mark Summers. Shout out Robin. Mm. Don't forget about Robin. That was oh, great. never. <laughs> and I just want to pick that big nose, like, so bad. So fun. Oh, okay. That was me next... very daintily picking the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da! So, all right. Yeah. Uh, would you rather uh, be cast as a superhero or as a historical figure? Superhero, for sure. I'm uh, I'm actually, like, I'm I'm training at a, at a <laughs> this is so L.A., I'm training at an athletic club in Los Angeles that gears to that. Like, you know, like it, it's a lot of, a lot of people that work out there are like actors and performers. Like I can't name names, of course, to no protect the confidentiality of people who work out next to me, but like, um, oh, what does it rhyme like, with? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, what if I, what if, oh, and I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. no, I can't. I can't. Um, <laughs> An impression. No, it would be unwise. It would be unwise for me to do that. Um, but no, like a lot of a lot of people that the owner of this gym um, has trained have you know been specifically geared to like people who are doing action movies or you know doing big Marvel roles and stuff like that. So I definitely I'm I'm like in. Um, I can't say too much about the project, but I'm about to do a project where I will be running a lot and I will be, um, you know, doing some some stunts and things like that. So I just I've been training for this awesome. for the last like six months. I really awesome. uh, anytime I'm like at the gym and I'm like not able to pick something up, I'm like, do it for Marvel. And then I can pick it up a little better. Uh, <laughs> So that's where I'm at. Yeah. Amazing. What that's historical cool... figure? Like, I, I want to know what historical <laughs> figure y'all talk about. Like, it's like, who could I even play? Like, any. I, <laughs> I guess I, I mean, Liza. I was kind of bitter that they didn't even call me for the Halston show. Um, <laughs> um, okay, Ryan Murphy. Uh, I see you and I hear you. Um, but no, I, I, I think 
I would love to play like an Amy Winehouse or a Janis Joplin at some point. And they, mm. they, I guess, I, ideas. I think they would identify as historical figures. For um, this, yes, so, absolutely. Yes, yes, absolutely. So yeah, I you. think there's a, there's a there's a strong lean towards superhero right now. But uh, honestly, one day, you know, why not both? Why not? Why not both? A historical. We're going to see superhero. a movie about you one day, and as <gasps> playing you as a historical figure. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Olivia Rodrigo, please. <laughs> <laughs> Love her. She's Filipino. She can do it. There we go. All right. All we right. Got a few Moving more. along. Would you rather? No wrong answer. Her own a guitar from Joan Jett. <sighs> yes. Or I'm. This is. I mean. Or own a guitar that belonged to Prince. Prince, absolutely Prince. Absolutely. Cause you... One million percent Prince. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Joan, love her, but Prince has you... that guitar. No I mean, one against that's... Prince. You just put yeah. Prince in the mix, we're going to lose. I was surprised yeah. to see Prince on this one. I didn't think he wouldn't go from like the guitarist from, from Creed, give like a, a straight win to Joan Jett. I, mean, I yeah. don't know. I mean, <laughs> like, got stabbed. You never know. You never know. I only but, say that because I, I had posted something on my Instagram reminding everyone. I was like, never forget when the Super Bowl uh, party that. this year is lit. But never forget when Creed played on the halftime show and a man did the uh, elaborate curtain diving. He was like dying. What? Oh, my God. I don't doing, remember like, Creed. I remember was, Prince's Super Bowl halftime show and seeing that guitar and being like, Mom, why does that look like that? And she was like, well, it's because he's gay. And I said, oh, <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it is the most uh, yeah. beautiful guitar for the most beautiful person. He Bad used to... lick. Mm. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. True that. Shout out to Prince. Shout out Prince. Shout, Shout out. out to Prince. Shout out to Phallic Instruments. Here we go. There's not enough. Well, maybe there is if you think about it hard enough. <laughs> every but... brass instrument, every yeah. wind instrument. You know, most instruments are phallic when you think about it. I like, but this is the thing, and this is how I definitely absolutely knew I was gay. Um, was that <laughs> let's get into this, let's pathologize a little bit. <laughs> how did um, you know? <laughs> my guitars, I always name them after women, and my reasoning, and I, of course, never told anybody this until I was like old enough to really get the language around it and the, the vocabulary. But I just thought that the curves of the guitar, you know, and I started out with a classical guitar, so they were always that shape, that hourglass figure. Um, so yeah, my guitars were always like Maria after, you know, Julie Andrews and the sound of music who I had a crush on and, you know, <laughs> Miss Honey was one of my guitars. <laughs> From Matilda? <laughs> <laughs> had nothing to do with guitar, but I definitely had it bad for Miss Honey. <laughs> um, no, it's funny. My girlfriend and I were just talking about this today at lunch. She was like talking about, I asked her, I was like, did you like remember seeing School of Rock? And if so, like, did you remember me in School of Rock? And she was like, I was mostly just into Sarah Silverman. I was like, and that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> that oh makes sense. Make <laughs> and I was like not offended by that whatsoever. I'm like, yeah, same. I was enamored by her when she was on set. I was like, oh my God, I want to be you. Or do I want to be with you? With you. <laughs> The age old question. So uh, yes. uh, any of your current guitars, um, do they have names and what are their names? Yeah, the guitar that I play, I, I only have one of my guitars in LA, which I think is homophobic of my dad to not send them to me. Um, but um, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I have one acoustic electric guitar here and her name is Aria Stark. Oh, pretty. Of course. Of yes. course. Game of Thrones. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Of course, that, that's a whole nother, gosh, yeah. if we keep you for another hour, that would just, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really, you know what, Game of Thrones, I watched the whole thing, but like, I, it was never like really like my show that I was like addicted to, like I was like, yeah, I guess I'll watch it because everybody's fucking talking about it, but yeah, cupcakes, I wasn't right? as, you eat, you I wasn't eat too many cupcakes and you get it. over it, right? It's like a cupcake, yeah. you know, it's a cupcake show and you can eat as many yeah. as you can hold at the time and you can always come back to a cupcake, but you can't. You can't forever eat cupcakes. There right, was this know? video the other day that killed me on TikTok. <laughs> that, that it was this girl doing an impression of Khaleesi talking Dothraki or whatever, and she was just like, "Arasa, <laughs> It's like you're you're either speaking like Dothraki or like parcel tongue, but either way, I'm into it. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, hey, she's the reason I went blonde. So I can see. You know what? You should. You, that's the impression you should learn how to do. Is is Khaleesi? Okay. I will start eating horse hearts immediately because that's all yeah, I can ever do. I will yeah. not get the accent. I will try Yum. my best. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> we love. Uh, I think we have, oh, two more. Okay. So would you rather perform on stage with the first music act you ever saw in concert or perform with the first musician whose CD you bought? 
Mm-hmm. That, okay, yeah, no, it's definitely the second one. I mean, love it, love Santana so much, but Santana was the first concert I ever saw. Um, the first musician whose CD I bought was TLC. So just <gasps> call, you know, like bring left Crazy, eye back. Sexy, cool. Was that one? Let me that... get in there. Yes. Crazy. Waterfalls? Sexy, the, yeah, let me get in there. Waterfalls. That's one of my go-to karaoke songs. Cause I love when it gets to the left eye part where it's a scene of rainbow. Yeah. Well, hey, my little man is on the down. Oh my God. I give it right. She's so good. Just let me, let me take, well, I can never replace, but let me, let me pay homage to left eye. You're available. We get the TRC. There you go. It works. Yeah, it works. Legends, oh. TLC legends. That whole that oh. whole era of music was really just nostalgic for me. Yeah, still, it's but my favorite. TLC. It's like what I gravitate to. Like when I work out, when I go for a walk, when I'm on a drive, I'm like, yeah, no, it's always '90s R&B for me. And the the outfits. Not enough condoms on clothing anymore. You know, it's like no left. Yeah, I get yeah. IUDs on clothes. She Come always on. had the eye. She always had the uh, the NFL. <laughs> Like, you know, the patch. And I didn't realize later, was that like a shout out? Because her husband was, uh, at, well, before the fire, was uh, <laughs> was an NFL player, too. So maybe I that's think it was before that. The, yeah, I feel like was that it? was before. Th- I mean, yeah, I, I just guess so. it was her left eye. I think it's. Yeah, like, there it eye. is. Like, there it is. The left there one. There it is. All right. We have one final one. Josh, you want to take it home? Absolutely. And finally, would you rather go back in time and have a conversation with Jimmy Stewart or Catherine Hepburn? Catherine Hepburn for sure. I think yeah, she'd have some great stories Absolutely, Catherine. To tell. I bet Jimmy she would just. Would. I don't want to. I don't want to listen. I, to I love Jimmy. Hey. Oh, she loved Jimmy. Nothing against Jimmy. Jimmy Stewart, but I'd be like, hey. when Catherine Hepburn is there, I'm like, oh. I want to talk to you. I define my hobby oh. tattoo. I'm like, there it is. I love. Oh that. my god. The only like I the only there are some impressions that I'm like I can definitely do that impression of that person, and then there are other impressions that I'm like, no, I can do Kristen Wiig doing that person. Okay, and that one of them is Catherine Hepburn, where she's just like, I found a squirrel outside. <laughs> it's like, I'm it. <laughs> so good. I fuck. Oh God, I love Kristen Wiig. Ditto. I want to go back in time and have a conversation with her, Kristen Wiig. Shit. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that I can really do that cool. now. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Maybe next week. Oh.